Hi, my name is Kurt Asplund, and this is my studio. You would never guess where I am today, but I'm down at our local skateboard park. Why? Well, I'm gonna draw you an elephant who loves to skateboard. That's right. He's gonna come on board here and really enjoy himself. So hang tight and let's get drawing. First thing I'm going to start off with is a line near the bottom that will represent essentially where the skateboard is going to go. And remember, you're going to draw very, very light. Above that line, I want to draw another line, which will become a square. And it's not a perfect square, but the square, I want, I want it to lean a little bit to the right. This will eventually be the elephant's head. Then I'm going to draw another straight line, uh, a diagonal off of the, the skateboard area, and this will be his right arm. Now above all this, we want to make a big, big huge curve, almost, almost like at the top of a giant balloon where it's wide at the top, but then sort of tapers as it gets to the square below. And I'm going to draw a guiding line just off center. And then we're going to make a large S. The S is going to represent his trunk. A quick little line going across the top of the square for his an eye line, once again, a guide, and a smile. And like I always say, keep drawing light. We'll come back in with a little bit darker tone as we get further into our drawing here. All right, I'm gonna put two lines, two faint lines at the top to indicate where his legs and tail might go. Whoa, hey, if you're liking this video, make sure you subscribe right now below so I can keep making more. You got this. And now we're going to uh, make a nice big, uh, almost an M, a wave, an M shape, and the sweeping curve underneath. And this will give a sense of, of his left hand ear, or it's left to us, his right hand ear. And now I'm just kind of redefining uh, his trunk, just trying to get an indication of what's going on here. If you notice the bottom part of his trunk, I'm creating a straight line. Remember, we want straight versus curve, straight lines versus curve lines. It always creates contrast and it's very interesting to look at. Added a couple nostrils here. Add a little curve to the top right hand corner of his head. And now I'm indicating where his other ear. I put this long line here just to kind of give a nice S curve or a, a, a feel of where this ear would be flapping because he's trying to do a handstand on a skateboard here.
when I'm drawing, I'm always trying to think of the form. What, what, is, what is happening with the form? A drawing tip from A Dad Who Draws. Okay, let me show you an awesome thing. Now don't, I would grab a second piece of paper and you might want to try this. What I want to show you over here is what I call surface lines. And if you would draw two Y shapes like this, and as you could see, I'm drawing over the surface with curved lines. This will create an optical illusion that this has volume. And I'm going to do the opposite to the other Y here. And if you're falling behind, just push pause, grab your paper, get caught up and hit play again. So what happens with these surface lines, if you will look, um, I'm going to, I'm going to draw in some letters here so I could reference. So the, the limb that's going to letter A is coming toward us, where B is going to f uh, away from us. C is coming toward us, D is coming for us, E is going away, and F, that is at the very bottom, is going away. So these surface lines I want to use, I used in this trunk, and I will use them a little bit more darker as we go along to give the sense the trunk is round. So I've just put in his bottom leg and now I'm redefining his ear. I'm using my light, lightly drawn lines earlier to help give me an idea where to go. They're guides. Trying to draw some nice, nice curves here, nice S curve. Contrast that with a straight line. Get the front of his trunk here. Adding some nostrils. getting the bottom underside of his trunk coming in here, stopping at the tusk, getting his smile in. Now let's give him some eyes and these eyes are going to be like he's squinting. His eyes are shut because he's so happy. He's just having a lot of fun skateboarding on his uh, skateboard here. Putting in his tusk, adding a little bit of a heavier line underneath. Now the underside of his head. Let's get his other leg in here. And just making the underside of his leg just a little bit heavier, that gives a sense of weight that he's pushing down on the bottom of his foot there. Right now we're going to get the back side of his, his body. And you could see that I, I didn't hit the first time, but that's okay. I'll just try it again and, and you could do the same. And like I've said before, if you have multiple lines, it's okay because it really gives 
are drawing some sort of movement sometimes. This line going the, down his back is actually his spine. Make sure when you draw that spine, you don't draw it dead center, but you draw it just slightly off to the right. Let's get his ear in now. And now we're going to do some of those surface lines in the tip that I showed you earlier. And you can see as I make them nice and curved, it gives a sense that the trunk is coming out towards us. And now I'm doing them in the opposite direction and it's like they're going back in space. So we get a real feel that the trunk is coming forward and going back and coming forward again. All right, I'm gonna delete now these little, the little tip there, but hopefully you drew that on another page. All right, let's continue with our elephant now. I'm gonna add some uh, toenails here in his uh, leg, his lower foot. And I'm gonna add in his skateboard now. Make sure you draw the top of that skateboard with a kind of a straight line and the bottom one that's closer to us, the bottom part is more of a curve. This will give an indication that, that he's kind of uh, pushing down on the center of the board and it's bending ever so slightly. And I'm kind of going around the edge here of the skateboard to give it a little bit more thickness. Adding a couple wheels down here. All right, let's add some hairs coming up into his ears here. That gives our elephant a lot of character. And it's these little details that make uh, make our drawings even more interesting. All right, let's move up to the top and get his back leg here. A couple straights, a curve, and then straight back down. Actually, it's slight curve, slight U-shape. Get his spindly tail here. Give a sense that it's flapping in the wind because he's having a great time. So let's get his other leg in here. Once again, straight on one side, and then a little bit of a curve on the other. Now I'm just kind of looking over my drawing and, and starting to add some detail from different hairs, spots, darkening some lines, adding a couple hairs to his ears. redefining the, the front of his trunk. I really like this part of his leg here and I really want to make sure that's dark because he's really leaning into that leg. Finding his eyes a little bit darker. A couple more hairs in his ears. Okay, a couple surface lines drawn lightly to show that his leg is very round. Finding the top of his ear there, a little bit darker. And his backside, make sure this side over here has a curve, an S curve to it. And then his left side of his body, a big sweeping curve. Let's indicate the, I'm going in and redefining his ear, darkening it up.
Now, all your lines don't have to be dark, but leaving some of them rather light versus others that are dark, again, it creates contrast. Let's add a little tone now, just a little tone to our skateboard, and this will help to set our elephant off just a little bit. A little tone to create a, a shadow underneath the skateboard so it feels as though he is casting that shadow onto the ground. And that will pretty much do it.